Opposition leader Raila Odinga has been dealt a huge blow. This coming barely hours after his party lost two by elections. The Wajia West ODM candidate has become to the Jubilee side just when parties were preparing for the campaign's final leg for the poll, which is set for April 25th. Zippo has established that Mohammed Yusuf Elmi had a change of heart after meeting Deputy President William Bruto at his current residence on Tuesday. This has turned what was deemed as a two-horse race to a walkover for the Jubilee candidate Ahmed Kolosh, although Kanu's Ibrahim Abdirahman is warning a tough race ahead. The new development is a big setback from Saudinga as it comes on the back of two major losses, the Eugenia and the Mbakasi South mini polls that saw his party lose big. Soon after Mohammed's withdrawal from the Ojiya's race, ODM said the decision had been arrived at following consultations with Jubilee. Jubilee's Aden Duale, on the other hand, noted the political adjustments were thanks to Ruto's influence. They lost in Ugenya, in the Bakazi South. Now they have conceded early defeat in Wajia West. The hustler influence is real, he said. According to ODM luminaries, the Orange Party was returning a favor because Jubilee did not front candidates in the just concluded by elections. Still, ODM's Chris Karan was trounced by the little-known MDG party's David Ocheng in James Orengo's Ugenya Turf. Chris managed 14,507 votes, while David pocketed an impressive 18,730 votes. ODM suffered an even bigger embarrassment in Mbakasi, with former MP Irshad Sumbra getting 7,988 against Wipers Julius Mawadhe's 21,628 votes. It is believed that the two victorious candidates had the blessings of DP Ruto, who has vowed to neutralize Raila's popularity, starting with the latter's strongholds. He also tweeted about Yusuf's defection. <laughs>